data handling in python in last session we saw a uh, we introduced ourselves to python programming language and how to uh, you utilize and use the python programming language as a data scientist in this session we will try to uh, understand how to handle the data in python Uh, data handling is a uh, quite most important skill for any data scientist as a data scientist or analyst we spend a fair amount of time handling and manipulating the data that we have or we want to analyze so before jumping on to analysis we have to import the data curate the data or validate or sometimes we have to merge the uh, two variables and in into a new data set or we want to cre create new variables we might have to delete some unwanted variables from the data set that we have or we might have to merge the data set also so these are some uh, basic skills for a data scientist to have to handle any data set or before getting into the analysis part contents we will see of this in this session we will try to cover what the data frames are how to import the data frame and working with the data set or what kind of In this session we will try to see uh, in this session we will try to understand what the data frames are how to import the data and what would be the checklist of after importing the data set what we need to perform on the data set and after that we will see how to manipulate the data how to create new variable how to sort it or removing any duplicates or removing any columns from our data set and then we will see if we have more than one or two data set how to merge them and in the end we will understand how to export the data set or any curated data set that we have created into external csv file data frames so what are the data frame data frames are like uh, are table like structure meaning each column contains some measurements on one variable and each row will have some one case or observation for each column okay so data frames we can understand data frames just like how python dictionaries are because data frames are actually python dictionaries in their core so to create a data set we will see how we can create a data set or how to convert a dictionary into data set so first we need to always need to for data frame or working with the data set we need to import our pandas library always we have to because this is the most easiest or most classic library available in python to handle any basic data sets so here i am trying to create a dictionary which is data the name of the dictionary that i have given is data it con contains uh, one uh, key which is name and the value in here i have given a list of values which would be stan kyle eric and kenny so in previous session we did not see giving any you know list value in as a, a key value pair but here we can see that we can enter any list uh, as a value also i have created four values here in the name and the second key which is age i have given four values which are corresponding to names and age if i run this code i would be creating a dictionary and if i want to convert this dictionary into a data frame i will use pandas data frame function always remember the pandas data frame function here d is capital and frame is also capital i will use pd dot data frame and the data or the dictionary that i wanted to build a data frame of the data frame that i am going to create i have named it as df so i will select it and if i run it i can see that i have created one data frame the name of the data frame is df the type is data frame here we can see that there are four values we can see one two three four values or four rows this data set has and two is the number of columns that we had if you want to see or explore this data frame we can just double click on it and we can see that we have two data frame uh, sorry two very uh, columns and we have four total number four rows in the data frame next we will move to uh, importing the data most of the time we would be working on imported data 
we won't be creating the data frame all by ourselves. We would be importing any data set and Python's Panda uh, module will be converting that data set into a data frame for us so we can work on the data frame. So how to import the data? If we have external CSV file and if you want to import the file, we can use Panda's read underscore CSV function to import any data set. Before we start going into this uh, using this read CSV function, Meaning, when we are using the read CSV function, we have to give the address or the location of that file that we want to import. While giving the path, we need to use forward slash or two double backslashes in the path. The window style of single backslash will not work. We will see how we can import a CSV file. So here, again, we, we need to import the pandas SPD, but we have already imported, so we won't need that. To import the data frame uh, data set, I'm giving the data frame name sales and then I'll use pen pd dot read underscore csv and in the parenthesis I will give the location of location or the path of the file where which file I want to import. I'm importing sales underscore sample file. So I will select this line and if I run it we can see that I have imported the sale data frame which is uh, sales data set and a data frame which is named sales. If I double click on it, I can see that there are 10, uh, 11 rows and there are few columns which we can see from the uh, size column over here. There are 11 rows and 7 columns or 7 variable we have in this data frame. Next, if you want to import a data fr from a uh, Excel file. We can do that also. We need to use the function Python function which is pd dot read underscore Excel. Uh, there is a bit difference in using this function. We just have to give one extra value which is the name of the seed because as we can understand, uh, Excel seed might have uh, Excel might have one, two, or three or many seeds in the uh, file. So we need to one. We need to give the first uh, path of the file with the name. And then with the with a comma we can separate and we can just give the sheet that we want to import. And here this I have given one more you know a constraint which is any value is equal to any meaning that any missing values would be considered or given the name N A. It would be replaced by N A or any any column which has or any row or any value which has given name N A would be considered a considered a any value. So if I select it and if I run it, you can see that I have imported a Excel file you know, as a data frame, WB data. Here we can see that this file has 2354 rows and 20 columns. And if you want to see the data frame, we can also print that and we will be able to see the whole data frame printing in our console.